Yesterday, when I reported the news about Tesla Giga Berlin's ramp up of production, I said that by the end of the year, Tesla aims to build 1,000 vehicles, 1,000 Model Ys each week by the end of the year. But today, we have more precise information when exactly Tesla will start the 1,000 weekly production, when Tesla will shift to two shift working, when Tesla will do the 4680 battery cells at Giga Berlin, and some more. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time and help us to grow this channel, please. Tesla Giga Berlin is actively developing, aiming to produce 1000 Model Ys per week by the end of April. By the end of April, Tesla is hoping to build 1000 Model Ys per week. The transition to two shift work should begin starting July or sometimes in July, which will increase the factory's performance. The production of the 4680 battery cells is due to the, to start in the fall of 2022. You know that Tesla is still building its cell production facility Hopefully, by the sometimes in the fall, Tesla will complete it and will start the production of 4680 battery cells. And like, as I said, Tesla is going to shut down the factory for a few weeks, approximately about three weeks, to shift from the current battery cells to 4680 battery cells. Tesla began produ uh, production at Giga Berlin at the end of March and ceremonially handed over the first 30 Model Ys and on March 22nd. Since then, hundreds of German vehicles have been delivered domestically as well as to a number of European countries. At the moment, there are no official figures indicating the performance of Giga Berlin. However, information has appeared from unofficial sources. As of today, the factory Giga Berlin is producing about 350 Model Ys per week. German news outlet Automobile Walk reported yesterday, citing an unnamed source. And this shouldn't be very difficult to understand because if you are working, thousands of working people are working at Giga Berlin and they should know how many cars they're producing per day. However, by the end of April, that's the end of this month, basically in, in a week, Giga Berlin should reach a production capacity of around 1,000 units per week. So if a manufacturer will produce 1,000 Model Ys per week by the end of the year, the result would be about 35,000 vehicles in 2022, as I reported yesterday. However, Automobile Vogue claims that Tesla only plans to produce around 30,000 cars this year, but it seems that this is not correct. So we'll see how things go. Further in its report, Automobile Vogue, it is reported that the manufacturer Tesla intends to start working in two shifts starting in July. If we do not ignore this information, it becomes obvious that an increase in the number of shifts directly leads to an increase in production. If this were not the case, then it would not make sense to start working in two shifts at all. Do not expect a second shift to double production, but it could bring in a few hundred more Model Ys week extra. So if by the end of this month, in a week basically, because today is what? Today is 19th of April, within 10 days, Days, Tesla starts building 1,000 uh, Model Ys per week and adds a second shift in July, that means Tesla should be able to at least make 1,200, 1,500 vehicles per week, right? But still, consider that by the end of the year, by sometimes in fall, Tesla will shut down Giga Berlin for about three weeks, the report says, uh, to build the 4680 battery cells. Now, Automobile Works also reported that Tesla planned, like I said, the shutdown. It is reported that the stop will occur in connection with the re-equipment of production lines. So in case some of you were wondering why Tesla needs to shut down the factory for three weeks to uh, sh uh, shift uh, from the current, I think 21 some battery size to 4680 battery cells, it's because the stop will occur in connection with, look at this, re-equipment of production line. Since around this period, the production of 4680 battery cells should begin and according to the production of Model Y with them, Tesla is extremely positive uh, uh, on this. Now, this is extremely positive news that will surely please investors and Tesla customers who are awaiting their cars with the new battery type. Looks like it will take some time to re-equip 
the line to build the 4680 battery cells. I personally hope that Tesla will also send us some information about the specs if tesla is going to change the battery we would like to know what are the benefits of those batteries right now look we have learned that these batteries the 4680 batteries are going to be more dense energy dense they're going to add some type of range to tesla there was something about the 16 percent i think was it 16 percent range or 16 percent more uh, power density they're going to be more efficient they're going to be better basically they're going to make better teslas however tesla has not said anything about the specs of these new 4680 cells imagine the new model y or new model 3 coming out of tesla giga berlin or gigafactory texas with the new 4680 battery cells but i have not heard anything in the media talking about how the range or other specs of these new vehicles will change if tesla starts using the 4680 battery cells have you heard anything if yes please let me know i would like to know what the new teslas will look like i mean we reported i think it was last week right early last week or the week before that tesla started the production of model y at giga texas and tesla displayed the structured battery pack in which tesla is going to use the 4680 battery cells now we heard and we uh, there are rumors that these new vehicles that tesla is shipping to customers are from giga texas are with the 4680 battery cells have you noticed any range differences i have not so if you guys know anything about this please let me know we would like to know about this and report i would be personally very excited to see if tesla can ship us uh, like bat uh, these battery uh, vehicles with these batteries with like 10 percent increase in range or 20 percent increase in range would it not be that great you know definitely would be now at the moment the actual planned number of model y production in 2022 remains unknown why unknown because some people say it will be 30,000 some people will say it will be 50,000 vehicles by the end of the year but I think a lot depends how the second shift will go and a lot depends on how quickly Tesla will re-equip the production of the battery cell uh, segment and start producing uh, model wise with the 4680 battery cells given the information provided it becomes obvious that Giga Berlin is able to produce much more than 30,000 electric vehicles, electric Model Y units in 2022. So what do you think? Given all this information that I provided to you, how many Tesla Model Ys do you think realistically Tesla Giga Berlin will be able to produce by the end of 2022? Perhaps the manufacturer will give an update. Hopefully Tesla will do an update on this or at least a hint about it. We will look at Elon's tweets or you know any news coming from our Giga Berlin sources during the upcoming core or uh, update or hint during the upcoming quarter one 2002 earnings call by the way i'm preparing a report about what to expect from the 2022 earnings call especially that giga shanghai was down for uh, for almost a month uh, because of the restrictions in shanghai so let me know all your thoughts friends what do you think about all these developments this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel because i'm going to bring you what happens about the uh, 22 22 what, what can you expect from 22 earnings which i report in, in about hour or so and also if anything new comes comes from Giga Berlin. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you and with the world. And I'll see you soon in our next report.